my wife and I have a 12-year-old and a 5-year-old. Both are active in sports and activities. My wife works part-time, and I work full-time. Our schedules are pretty busy. Recently, she and I were able to go away for a weekend without the kids to put on a marriage and parenting conference at a church in Oklahoma. Though we had some alone time during the weekend, we realized when we got back that it's been extremely hard staying connected this past year. But it's easier to stay connected to your wife than to resurrect a troubled marriage once it's disconnected. Maybe you've asked, why am I so disconnected from my wife? Here are five warning signs that you're becoming disconnected from your wife. You take her for granted. It's easy to get into a routine and rut, especially with your wife. A few years ago, I got lazy on Mother's Day and failed to celebrate my wife well. I made the excuse that I was in a busy season, but the truth was, Mother's Day wasn't as important to me as it should have been. When we expect our wives to do things for us and our families but show no appreciation, it leads to hurt feelings and disconnection. Start getting connected again by thanking your wife for the little things she does for you every day. You don't work to resolve conflict. Your wife and marriage are worth fighting for. A significant sign you may be disconnecting from your wife is that you're not working through conflict with her. Growing up, I watched my parents experience conflict with each other and just sweep it under the rug. They may have attempted to work through things, but I never saw them resolve conflict. Conflict is in every marriage, and if you get to a point where you don't want to find peace and resolve issues, you've reached apathy, and apathy disconnects you. Remember, your wife and marriage are worth argue for. If you cannot work it out on your own, seek counseling. You let your schedules own you. I have found the easiest items to schedule are work-related. But the most important are the things related to your wife and family. Many men fail to calendar their biggest priorities. Before committing to anything, you need to consider your wife. Busy weeks can turn into busy months. If you're not careful, one day you'll realize it's been a year since you've made time for her. Your calendar is your friend. Schedule your wife into it. At the marriage and parenting conference, we had couples stand and hug each other for 30 seconds. It was amazing to see the change in couples after about 15 to 20 seconds. They began to relax and smile, and then the awkwardness left the room, and the couples wanted to keep hugging. Try the exercise yourself this week. You can also hold her hand, rub her back, or tickle her. You don't have fun with her. If you're still wondering, why am I so disconnected from my wife? Look at how much fun you've had with her lately. I once asked one of my mentors what the biggest secret is to the success of his marriage of over 50 years. He simply said, we laugh a lot. I always remembered that because something is wrong if you're not laughing together. Find the fun in your marriage by any means and laugh with your wife. If you are arguing more often than not, this may be one of the major signs of disconnection in a relationship. While argue occurs in any pairing, if you cannot get along with each other, you should consider what is causing this feeling of disconnect between you two. It isn't beneficial to argue with your partner all the time. You should be able to talk to each other. Argue in a relationship can be helpful since it allows you to work out problems, but when you aren't working through these issues, this is not likely to build up your relationship. When you aren't making up after an argue, this could indicate that you are feeling disconnected from your partner. You may not care to solve disagreements that you are experiencing with one another, or you refuse to recognize their point of view. The whole process may seem pointless to you, which could let you know how tired you are of some of the things in your relationship. You don't remember how to talk to each other. In some cases, you may think I feel disconnected from my boyfriend, and I don't remember how to talk to him. If you are ever trying to talk to your partner and can't find the words or don't know what to say to them, work may need to be done in your relationship. Think about how you used to talk to each other and the things you would discuss. Your partner gets on your nerves. Have you found that your mate is getting on your nerves more than he used to? This may be because you are feeling distant and disconnected from them. Take some time to think about how you feel and why you may be feeling this way. Perhaps it isn't your partner's fault, or maybe you get on his nerves too. You may need to cut them some slack and find out what is on their mind. You are leading separate lives. Upon occasion, you may be living a completely separate life from your spouse. You may both be busy and hardly ever see each other, and it might be hard to find time to talk even if you see each other for a moment throughout the day. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.